Hello, in this short video, I'd like to tell you about the graduate program at the University of Tokyo titled Forefront Physics and Mathematics Program to Drive Transformation, or 4PM for short. I'm Hitoshi Murayama, the coordinator for the program. I'm from UC Berkeley as well as University of Tokyo. So this program is about maximizing opportunities for select graduate students from sciences, math, and engineering. You actually agreed to host their visits to a laboratory. That's why you're listening to this video. So thank you so much for making yourself available for this. Unfortunately, this kind of visit hasn't happened because of pandemic, but hopefully this will start happening in the next several years or so. And you may also receive surveys for the midterm review by the funding agency named MEXT. They may contact you in May or so. And I hope you are informed about this program before responding to the survey. So kind of problems we want to address with this uh, graduate program is that in many cases in Japan, the graduate students are not financially supported, which is of course unusual internationally. Uh, on the other hand, they are excellent, excellent students as far as the problem solvings go. But I'm a little worried that they might be weak in communication and also maybe weak in finding new problems which sort of fall in the cracks of different, different subfields. They also tend to stick with one research group from the senior year all the way up to PhD, so they tend to become rather narrow in their education. And also, the student body is not very diverse. Female fraction is about 5%, international fraction is about 10%. And they tend to be also uninformed of the opportunities outside Japan and also outside academia, so we'd like to address these concerns. And that's why we decided to apply to a government program, uh, which is called WISE, Doctoral Program for World Leading Innovative and Smart Education. And so in this program, we propose to do many different things. First of all, it's very important for science to have a diverse group of people with intense interactions among them. So we need to start with a diversity of disciplines. For example, we are, are, are require that every student actually un undergoes a lab rotation while they're in grad school. We also need to have a diversity at the entrance level, namely the student body. And for this purpose, I'm going to actually tell you a few programs we have uh, devised. We need to enhance the interactions. The students give uh, the, uh, the presentation to each other in sort of TED style format within five minutes, which is a very difficult thing to do. But so far, they've been doing very well. Uh, so they have to speak to uh, other students from different uh, areas of research. And we also like to maximize diversity of exits, namely their career. For example, we uh, uh, encourage students to be involved in an entrepreneurship workshop and we also mandate students to take either classes on machine learning or quantum information and that would maximize their career. Of course they can use this for the research as well but that would become uh, in, in some sense an insurance policy even if you don't go to academia in the end this would actually allow them to find any industry jobs very easily. And we are also trying to do actually a tutorial for the faculty members on how to write good recommendation letters, again, to, for the purpose of maximizing their career opportunities. And right now, uh, we have actually already fairly diverse set of the faculty members involved in this, uh, as far as the Japanese academia goes, and it would like, like create an excellent international program here. We have made a lot of progress. In the first batch of students, we had this many students here. Second batch and third batch, we are increasing the number of female students as well as international students. We are also adding more faculty members to the program, three international, two female, since the launch of this program. And we have this emphasis on training the mindset of students towards diversity and inclusiveness. And this kind of thing apparently never happened in Japan before, so it was actually taken up by the uh, national newspaper about this. And here, we'd like to tell students why creating inclusive environment is important for everybody. And everybody needs to take care of this, actually. And then this kind of knowledge is also needed for job applications in the U.S. context, so this will be their benefit as well. And we also brought in a lot of role models, for example, the Mary uh, Britt Moses, the Nobel Laureate in Neuroscience, Fabiola Giannotti, the famous uh, Director General of the CERN, and Kuro, uh, the Reiko Kuroda is also a famous uh, biologist in Japan. And here are the people who spoke at some of the uh, career workshops. Uh, Elena Levin is actually a professional speaker about the careers and networking. And in this uh, 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 the session, we invited uh, people from academia and industry. For example, one of them got a PhD degree in astronomy from this uh, uh, department, and became a TV producer at NHK. That's sort of the Japanese analog of BBC. And uh, uh, Kazuto Ataka actually got a degree in biochemistry, but actually became a, an IT person at the ja Yahoo Japan, including also faculty members in, uh, working in Japan and internationally, and also a 
gave him a role model there. In this career workshop, we invited a lot of young uh, new assistant professors who came back from abroad after postdoc experience. I also asked Tom Media, who is an assistant professor at the University of Tokyo, uh, to, to give a tutorial on how to write good applications uh, for job uh, uh, openings. Here are some examples of what students wrote as a part of their academic writing program. And in this brochure, uh, you have already received by mail, uh, it has my, uh, uh, the message at the beginning, but you can also read real stories of research experience by some of our students uh, abroad. So this is actually part of the program, and I hope you will receive those students in your research group uh, in the near future. For more information, you can find this website. So thank you so much for being a part of this program, and I hope uh, you would actually a, uh, uh, even send some of the undergraduate students to this program at the University of Tokyo. Thank you.